Hello everyone, in this video we're going to prove the theorem sine a plus b equals sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. And once we've got this one, then we can prove all of the other addition compound formula as well. So to prove this theorem, I'm going to use the diagram here to help. So notice one problem with my proof straight away is that it will only be true for acute angles because I've created a right angle triangle. So a few things about this diagram. Firstly, I create a right angle triangle here with an angle a and a right angle triangle here here with an angle B. Therefore, alternate angle states that this angle here has to be A because it's an alternate angle. Because I've created a right angle here, these two angles have to add up to 90 degrees or pi over 2, so this must be pi over 2 minus A. Equally, the top angle here, these two are also complementary, so I have to add up to pi over 2 or 90 degrees, so that one must be A. So once we've got that, we can now uh, use this diagram. Two things to notice. If I want to write the ratio for sine A, which is opposite over hypotenuse, I've got two choices for triangles. Sine A is clearly PQ over OQ, our sine A using the top triangle here is clearly um, SQ over RQ. So that will be important later as we work through this proof. So let's start off with sine A plus B. So I'm going to start with the left hand side. So left hand side equals sine A plus B. And I'm going to do some mathematics on it and get to the right hand side. So firstly, sine A plus B is opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm looking in this triangle here. And I can see the opposite is RT, and my hypotenuse is OR, looking at this right angle triangle here. So then what I can do is I can look at the length RT and write that as RS plus ST. So I can write that as RS plus ST over OR. And then I can see that the length ST is the same as the length PQ. So I can swap ST for PQ. So here I will swap ST for PQ, and I'll write them both over OR. So at this stage, what I'm now going to do is have a look to see the ratios I actually have. I've got RS over OR. Let's look at that. RS is in this small triangle, and OR is in this bigger triangle here. They're in different triangles, so that's not very helpful. Clearly, that's not equal to sine A or cos B, uh, etc. So what I need to do is create ratios that are in the same triangle. So and this is the clever trick. I have RS over OR. RS is this triangle, and OR is this triangle. And notice that they have a common length, RQ. RQ is in both the small triangle and that larger triangle there. So I'm going to introduce the length RQ, and I'm going to use the old trick of multiplying the fraction by 1. So if I multiply this fraction by RQ over RQ, it stays the same. It doesn't alter, because I've multiplied by 1 effectively. I'm going to do the same trick with PQ over OR. Let's look at PQ over OR. PQ over OR, again, different triangles. Look, PQ's in this bottom triangle and OR's in the top large triangle, but they've got a common length OQ. So I'm going to do the same trick. I'm going to multiply top and bottom of PQ over OR by OQ over OQ. Then it's just a case of just a little bit of algebra. So I can rewrite RS over RS times RQ over OR times RQ as RS times RQ over, and I'll put the RQ there and the OR there. And equally here, the OQ over OQ, I'll write this as PQ over OQ times the OQ over OR. You can see it's still correct. Look, the RQs would cancel, leaving me with our RS over OR, and the OQs would cancel, leaving me with the um, PQ over OR. So it's correct. Now, why is that a really neat, clever thing to do? If we go back to our diagram here and we look at this ratio here, RS over RQ, RS over RQ is adjacent over hypotenuse in that small triangle, so that is cosine A. Now let's look at this one here, RQ over OR. RQ over OR is opposite of a hypotenuse in that large triangle, so that's sine B. Now let's have a look at PQ over OQ. 
So PQ over OQ is in the bottom triangle there, and PQ is opposite over OQ is hypotenuse, so that's sine A. And finally, let's have a look at the ratio OQ over OR. OQ over OR is the in the top big triangle there with angle B. It's adjacent um, over hypotenuse, and so that's cosine B. And we're nearly there. Notice I've just got mine the other way around. If I just swap these two over, these two terms here, because you can add in any order, I'll write the sine A cosine B first plus the cos A sine B second, and that is equal to my right-hand side QED, quadrilateral strandum, which was to be proved. So there we've got a nice neat proof of sine A plus B equals sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. So now, one thing to note is that actually, uh, this is how I did the proof initially, but actually if you work backwards, it might be easier than the way I did it. Because imagine working the proof backwards, so starting with the right-hand side, so starting with sine A cos B plus cos A sine B, and writing these ratios out, and then cancelling the RQs and the OQs, and then working upwards, you would have a cr tricky step here, realizing that you can rewrite PQ as ST and then RS plus ST as RT, but maybe going backwards is slightly easier than going forwards in my proof. I'll let you decide that. So maybe try it both ways. Try it forwards, try it backwards, and see what you think. Um, using the this formula, we can actually prove all of the other formula, which I'll make another video for, like cos A plus B and tan A plus B, etc. So if you're interested, please watch that. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, have a wonderful day.